Hi, my name is Raf Bansal. You may recognize me from the Great British Bake Off. Today I'm going to be making some extra delicious banana split cupcakes for the big lunch. This is a really easy recipe and you're only going to need a few ingredients. I've got 100 grams of self-raising flour, 100 grams of soft unsalted butter, 100 grams of light brown sugar, half a teaspoon of baking powder, two eggs and a banana. Okay, these cupcakes are really easy to make. You're literally just throwing everything into the bowl and you're gonna mix it together. We're going to add the mashed banana and we're going to give it another whiz from the mix. And you're ready to pour it into the cupcake cases. Okay, the oven has been preheated to 190 and we're just gonna pop them in there for 15 minutes. My go-to big lunch dish would be something extra flavoursome, extra delicious, something that all your friends and family are going to love. But with me, I like to put a twist on the British classic. So I would say my go-to would be my chilli paneer quiche. So you've got a chilli paneer, which is this classic Indian uh, flavoursome, delicious dish. And then you have a quiche, um, a quiche which is not British, it's actually French, <laughs> sorry. I have this really cheesy joke that I tell at every single party. It's so bad, but I'm proud of it. Okay, the joke goes like this. Why did the banana go to the hospital? Because it wasn't peeling very well. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> To make these cupcakes extra special, we're going to top it with a vanilla buttercream. And to make that, you are going to need 300 grams of sifted icing sugar, 175 grams of soft unsalted butter, and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And to decorate, we're going to use some chopped nuts, some rainbow sprinkles, some maraschino cherries, and some shop or chocolate sauce. To make your buttercream, I put the butter into a bowl and we're going to mix it until it's uh, lovely and pale, so it will make the icing sugar fold in a lot better. Once it's nice and soft, you're going to add the icing sugar a third at a time and you're going to mix it fully in between so that it will be easier to mix all together and you won't get any clouds of icing sugar. Once you've mixed in all of the icing sugar, you can add your vanilla extract and then some whole milk to loosen up the mixture and then give it another beat for about a minute or so. And there you have it, the perfect vanilla buttercream. To ice my cupcakes, I'm going to be using a piping bag, but if you don't have one, you can easily just use a spoon and they'll taste equally as delicious. To decorate your cupcakes, uh, just pipe on some of that delicious buttercream that we made earlier. It's a nice little swirl, and then drizzle it with some chocolate sauce. You can put as much or as little as you like. Just let it drip down the sides and then Finally, decorate it with some of those rainbow sprinkles, some chopped nuts, and finally top it with a maraschino cherry. So I've grown up in a house where food is the center of everything, and we have many great family recipes, um, including my, my parents' chicken tikka masala. They have this secret recipe that they've only taught me and my sister, so I won't be sharing any of those secrets with anyone anytime soon. But it's extra delicious, and they are the people who inspired me to be in the kitchen and encouraged me to be a baker. And now I get to bake some delicious treats for other people. So there you have it. These are my banana split cupcakes, quick and easy for you to replicate for your big lunch. I hope it, this inspires you to get into the kitchen and bake some for your friends and family and I hope you've enjoyed this video.